if I be prophet and I open church, nothing for me may not get rich at least 50,000 members because it's easy to see vision in Nigeria. When this gist about this project start, I knew that the first thing that will happen is that the House of Rep and the Senate are going to start being threatened. They will start shaking. Now, when they start shaking, the next thing is they want to appease the youth. And they will start looking for a way to pacify people. If that will not work, they will start looking for entertainers that will start telling the people this is not the right way to go. That's why you see people like Tonto DK saying this is not the right way to go. I join the people where they say and all support this protest. But I did not say it's not the right way to go. Now, once that one not still work, they will implore the taxes they used in the last election, which is violence. And I'm talking to you now, one of the special assistants to the president. You know, say that they are media assistant, they reach 47. All of them do is say work. Olushaku has started to threaten Nigerian youth. So all of them want to destroy this country. So now we meet serious resistance. Say that they wait sooner. Let me show you this tweet. Watch. Those who want to burn the country down under whatever guise will meet the strongest resistance of their lives. Not from security agencies, but from the silent majority that gave their mandate to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for four years in the first instance. We are waiting. So Chinwe Igwe replied his tweet said, Shegun, you have protested before. Did you destroy the country? Or are you telling us something? Olu Shegun responded. I protested and never destroyed or joined anyone to burn the country to the ground. My original tweet never mentioned protest. You are the one crying about it. You are the one who needs to tell us something, Shinwe. Barely written on the wall, like in Mene Mene Teke Teke Pass Kabia, the other handwriting on the wall. He's telling us that he's not talking about the protest. So, what are you talking about? Demonstrating peacefully is the legal right of a Nigerian. Since the plans for this movement started, the word peaceful has always joined it. But you know, every time we decide to demonstrate peacefully, the game was strategy way that they used. There was a sense of crazy people cause scatter and they did it during answers and they are beginning to threaten it again. You will see very soon again, let me prophesy again, many other political supporters will start saying these things. The idea of saying this thing is to threaten many youth to sit in their houses because once our parents see messages like this, they say, hey, once in plan, wala o, shegu man los anywhere o, kola jo kosile, it's a tactics. I repeat, the only reason I'm not supporting this protest is because of the person organizing it. I don't trust him. And I don't trust him to lead this movement. Once we have leaders that I can trust for this movement or law, but I will lead it. Me, I'll stand front that day because we need it. And uh, Molu is there telling us that the silent majority that gave their mandate to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We all know there's no silent majority anywhere that gave any mandate. Stop threatening Nigerians. Because every time when movements will start to now threaten people, the day when Nigerian youth go to say all die and die, you see now that day. More we leave that one for corner. But stop threatening people. You did it during the last election. They did it. Came out on the streets on the day of the election. So I don't say, Yeah, Shuku, this is your house. And if you know you will not vote for us, say your house. They did it and it worked. But how long do you think it will work? How long? Don't push Nigerians to the wall to the point where Nigerians say, waiting what happen, make it happen. Because the day when Nigerians will enter that zone of waiting what happen, make it happen. Now that day you go really see, say, we'll be 200 million people. Though. 200 million people. And any form of thugs and security on our get now reach 2 million. You know which, you know which 1% of the masses. People want to demonstrate peacefully. They want to ask for things that is their right. Allow them to demonstrate peacefully. If you ask me, I'll tell the government to even give them security on that day. Let them finish their demonstration. When the demonstration is happening, let the presidency come out and say, we have heard you. We will work on these things. To show you that we will work on these things, we will start doing this one and this one today. That's all. All this one that they threaten Nigerian youth will not work. If you work temporarily, but it gave you a good work wish. It be like that brother with the beat you know brother all the time. It gave you a good beat service. Your younger brother will say one December we will fight. 
and beat me, but move your fight. I get one double that like that where they follow me do that here who's more. That as you see, more drive who more drive who scatter everywhere. When we fight the fight, we scatter panel, we break shell, we scatter my part TV. My part self, no. Say me myself, my crazy not the comma. So the next time when you want to I'm up again, then my pass say, leave her more. And then I'll push Nigerian youth to very soon. So I will advise the federal government again. Allow them. Give them security. Let the military be guiding them alongside the police on that day. You will buy sympathy. Then when they are protesting to your offices, come and tell them we have heard you. We will do these things, but you know we can't do them once. Let's start with one and two now. You will buy the love of Nigerians. But you see all this threatening. <laughs> Could you walk?